You can take a good look at this face. This is January of 1861. He has just won the presidential election. Secession has immediately begun, begun as a result of that. Lincoln, as uh, you, you know, had run on a ticket which stated that slavery would not be allowed to reach into the new territories in the West. Can you uh, talk about what got you into this research and influenced the book? Well, for the longest time I'd wanted to write a novel about Abraham Lincoln. Uh, and my editor had wanted me to write a novel about the Emancipation Proclamation. And uh, I'd also wanted to do one about the Civil War that, that, that followed the life of some individual through the war. And I put all those things together. and. This is the book that emerged, finally. And uh, the research was great fun, visiting all the battlefields, and reading newspapers from the period and so forth. It's the most, um, uh, the, the research is always fun, but in this book it was particularly enjoyable. Now how long did it take you to do all the research for this book? Well, I usually do some research and then I start writing and figure out what I need to know, and then I go back and do the research. So the whole process takes a couple of years. There's a writer who has described it as a year of research, a year of writing, and a year of selling. And my, my process is a little bit different from that, but, but not a lot. You, you, you really uh, end up with um, the, a requirement that you, you learn an enormous amount. You basically get a graduate education in a new subject every time you write one of these novels. And I did in the Civil War and the Emancipation Proclamation. And uh, now, do you have any other projects in the works currently? I'm writing a book now called The Mother Load about the California Gold Rush, which is the uh, central event in the 19th century aside from the Civil War and it will, it will basically remake America and create the Golden State, which becomes the 12th largest economy in the world, which is what it is today. So that should be a pretty good book. Be out, be, it'll be out sometime in 2016. Certainly now, where, where can people find out more information about you? Is there a website? Yes, uh, williammartinbooks.com. And I usually try to keep it up to date so you'll You'll know where to come and hear my lectures or when the next book is coming out or you can click a link to Facebook and go there and see whatever I'm posting and ruminating upon, which is usually historical related material on the, the author page.